So today we've got big news coming out from the Allo coin or the Allo mining space and these are the Allo ASICs. So obviously I still don't know how to actually pronounce it. It's either a Leo or Allo but it doesn't really matter for the video. So we have two ASICs that are coming out and they've just been announced yesterday I believe. You might have seen a couple of YouTube videos and right off the bat I'm going to recommend that you don't buy these at all. Although the people that get in first will still make profitability I don't see this happening, you know, we've already kind of learned our lesson with Olefium and Radiant, how quickly that falls off, and I think the same thing is going to happen for Allo miners like Ice River, which is making the AE0, and then Goldshell, which is making the AE box. So we have two new miners, both announced kind of relatively in the same time. Bitmain obviously planning to announce soon, hopefully, and they're probably going to be on par with what we see for Ice River. So let's dive into the profitability of these, obviously given my recommendations on if you should buy one. As I said at the start, probably not. But Ice River has a hash rate of 50 mega hash, 100 watts of power, and an efficiency of two joules per mega hash. Weight doesn't really matter, but the first batch date is March 2025. So in two months from now, that's when they'll be coming out. As you can see here, daily, monthly, and yearly profitability the electricity rate is at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, but even if you up it, it's still going to be around these profitabilities. Daily is around $30, monthly is around $900, and yearly is around $10,900. So if you've been in crypto mining for a while, or if you just started, you'd know kind of that these profitability ranges are not going to be achievable when all of the hash rate actually hits the network. So that's the main thing about ASIC miners is when you have a switch from GPU over to ASIC miners or from SPGAs over to ASIC miners, you see these massive profitabilities which kind of draw you in to buy it. And then as soon as all that hash rate hits the network, this drops dramatically. For example, you can see here network hash rate is around, let's just say 250 G proofs. So let's just go with actual hash rate like gigahash or megahash, for example. So around a thousand of these is going to put on a substantial amount of hash rate onto the network. I'm thinking maybe a doubling in the hash rate and that's going to bring the profits down by half at least. And obviously there's going to be more people trying to mine it. And this is only from Ice River. There's obviously the gold shell ones that will be coming online as well before the Ice River ones. So that's going to take the hash rate higher as well and going to decrease the profitability. So this profitability is definitely not what it's going to be when you actually get the product. I'm sure that there'll still be some profits, but I think they'll tail off very quickly and the ROI times will shoot up from there. So that was the Ice River one at 50 mega hash, 100 watts. And then we have the Gold Shell one, which is 37 mega hash at 360 watts. So the Gold Shell one is definitely inferior product to the Ice River one. The only reason that you might want to get this before the Ice River one is because the first batch is in January. So you have around two months lead time to actually gain profitability on the network before all of the hash rate from the Ice River ASICs actually come online. Now, as I keep saying, I wouldn't personally buy these. The only people that are really going to make a lot of money on these are the ones that are basically first on the network with these ASIC miners, and it's probably not going to be you especially if you're ordering the Ice River ones, by the time that these hit the network on the Gold Shell ones, the profitability of the AE0 is going to go down very quickly. And the profitability of this will also go down when the Ice River hits the network. However, you see here that the profitability is around $20 compared to the Ice River, which is around $30. The one thing about Gold Shell is they always produce inferior products to an Ice River or a Bitmain, which they actually counteract that by releasing a miner quicker. We saw it with Alephium, they shipped out quicker, so they came on the network to obviously sell a bunch of miners, even though they know it's an inferior product, they're still going to ship it out quicker so that they can sell a bunch of units before real efficiency comes on to the network like you have in the Ice River AA0. Because when you're looking at efficiency, this is 2 joules per mega hash, and this one is 9.73 so it's around five times less efficient than the AE0. But as I said, they're trying to make up for that by shipping out in January instead of shipping out in March, which is what Ice River is doing. Now, there's also the question of how far Allo can actually go as a coin or Aleo can go as a coin. 
as you've seen here, price update on the last hour, 0. Or minus 0. 0.63 in the day, minus 12 in the week, minus 11 in the month, around minus 50. So the price has dropped quite dramatically in the past couple of months, which means it's not really looking good for mining on it. However, we do know that sometimes there's manipulation to pump the price of the coin before releasing an ASIC, which allows them to show good profitabilities like you see here, $30 and then $20 here per day. But right now, currently, the yield is higher than the price of Allo, and that's just due to the fact that Allo's price has actually gone down. So you can see here it's going down, but the yield is going up. So you're going to yield more. The only reason that yield would matter is if you're looking to hold the bags instead of looking for profitability out of the coin. And personally, I don't see this going anywhere in the future. There's not really much being built on it, or there's not really much it's used for right now. Same goes for a lot of other coins out there, but mainly I don't see this going up in the future or for a long-term hold. So let's get down to the kind of price of these. I don't believe it shows it on here, but we have a chart here from Red Panda Mining. So you can see here the A0 is 50 mega proofs or whatever, 50 mega proofs, which is basically the hash rate. And then the watts, 100 watts per mega proof and then price and then a calculation basically how much you're spending per mega proof on the network. The price of the AE0 is around $2,000 and the gold shell AE box is $3,300. Normally with these smaller units, they decrease in price dramatically as soon as other units get on the network. We saw it with the KS0, AEL0 and the RX0. All those little miners that you can mine for Casper, Elysium, and Radiant, the prices drop dramatically for all of them across the board as soon as hash rate starts to hit the network. So $2,000 for one unit is quite a lot, and I don't think it's financially viable to go and do that because they obviously can produce it at a way lower cost. They just want to make a lot of money from this, but when you look at how much mega proofs you are getting per dollar in terms of the price, you can see around $40 per mega proof here, and with the gold shell, it's around $90 per mega proof. So you're paying around double for each mega proof or, or each mega hash of hashing power. You're paying around double for the gold shell. And then there's also a comparison of a 1490 down here, which you're paying around $1,200 per mega hash or per mega proof that you have on the network. So obviously, as we can see, way better than a GPU miner. I was expecting to see FPGAs before we actually saw ASICs. So it made that straight jump to ASICs. There was no FPGAs in between, which in the past, we saw FPGAs for Radiant, Casper, and Alephium. And then it naturally migrated over to ASICs. This isn't the case here. And one of the main reasons for this is probably because these ASIC manufacturers wanted to jump the gun on this and go for it here. I know that Bitmain, if we look here, it plans to launch an AL miner. Faster growth of the ecosystem plans to launch the AL ant miner. And this was back in 2023. So they probably have it in the background, some R&D done on it already. And they're just waiting to kind of see how the network performs over the next couple of weeks or months. And then they're probably gonna produce a miner like here. I think it's gonna be relatively similar to what we're seeing for the Ice River A0. However, it's gonna be an actual ASIC miner with three boards that you see normally Bitmain producing because they don't go for these small miners. They normally go for just a full ASIC miner. So there's no doubt in my mind that they already have all the R&D done on this miner. They're just waiting to see how the network reacts, see how much the price increases, and they probably have a price point that they're gonna start selling them at which will display a lot of profitability and draw people in to buy the miner. As I said, Ice River and Gold Shell kind of specialize in getting it out there first. Gold Shell tries to launch first. Ice River comes in with something more efficient to draw people back from Gold Shell. It's kind of like a cat and mouse game between a lot of the ASIC manufacturers currently. And when you look at this chart, it does look very profitable compared to a lot of ASIC miners out there. So you have the Volk Miner D1 Hydro, which is making around $60 a day. These are all Litecoin ones. And then it's a Leo Litecoin Bitcoin miner here, Ethereum Classic. 
Litecoin, Elio, and then it's Litecoin all the way down from there for the L7s. So mainly Litecoin, Dogecoin, script miners are kind of overtaking the whole ASIC scene right now. But once all of these hit the network, you're probably going to see it down the list quite a long way. So if we keep going down, you have something like the KS5 that's only making $4 a day. I don't even think that the Ice River A0 is going to make around $4 a day. It's probably going to be around $2 a day, something like that. And the Gold Shell is probably going to be even worse. Ultimately, Bitmain are probably going to launch as well within, I don't know, the next couple of weeks or months, depending on how the network reacts. And that's also going to bring down the profitability of these two miners that we see here. So just to reiterate, I wouldn't look into buying one of these. The price of them is very expensive and it's a very expensive risk to take on a Leo as a coin because it hasn't really proven itself over that much time to be a good coin to mine, apart from for GPU mining. And it's a big risk to take to only mine one coin, but you can get hardware at around the same price of this that is going to produce way more profitability over time, I think, just because I don't see a Leo going that far in terms of the coin. So maybe you could even get something like an S21 XP, which is around $5,000 or something like that. Or you could get something a little bit smaller than that that's going to produce reliable profits and you kind of know where that's going in the future. I personally wouldn't get sucked into this ASIC miner buying for these new ASICs coming on the network. You obviously have to give it time to see how the network is reacting. Those that buy it first off the bat and get them first are going to be making a lot of profitability, but that's soon going to die down very quickly. So let me know your thoughts on these ASIC miners. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.